to Wellington on your turbulent and delayed flight due to the incessant wind indicated by this big orange stick. We already know Wellington is trying so hard to be Melbourne with vintage shopping, old kids and cafes with chalkboard menus. But we also know Wellington wouldn't mind being New York too with fake pigeons and these benches ripping off Manhattan's Highline project. And I know Wellington giggles inside when an American rides the cable car and says wow it's just like San Francisco. Yeah, the cable car is cute, but they wouldn't need it if they didn't build shit up these steep as f hills. Kelburn Normal School? This sounds discriminatory somehow. And how do I pronounce this street name? Cuba Street used to be known for its trams and trans, but now all we have is a rainbow strip and a bucket and cone fountain. This Barbie billboard is juxtaposed against a ditch dairy billboard. TJ Katsu is actually super awesome. You can serve your own sushi, and I actually prefer the mini bites to the oversized rolls in Australia. Pizza Express is a loaded pizza joint, which you you know I rate. Mount Victoria gives you a view of all of Wellington. I thought for a moment I was in Rio with this discount Christ the Redeemer. The road up there feels like I'm about to stop at Franklin's house in GTA and even the Wellington sign makes some parts of Welly feel like the Hollywood Hills. Speaking of Hollywood, good luck getting a booking for the Weta Workshop Tour. But if you don't get one like me, you can hover around the gift shop and view some models made for cinema. For your peace of mind, it is halfway out of the tsunami zone. Weta do, however, have some giant models on display at the Tapapa Museum. Definitely better than your average World War One exhibition. You can also read the Treaty of Waitangi here, something not even Christopher Luxon has done yet. Make sure you book a tour for the Beehive because there's nothing you can see for free in the Parliament building. But if you look hard enough from the outside, you might see Luxon crying on the ninth floor. You can also shake your fist at the Reserve Bank for all this inflation. And then thank the Education Department for preparing New Zealanders for their default move at 18 to Australia. Zealandia is a wildlife sanctuary with all of New Zealand's native animals, which is about four or five birds in total. Yeah, shout out to John Oliver and the Poo Techie Techie, but it's not even exclusive to New Zealand, mate. Huh? The Left Bank Laneway is another discount Melbourne feature. Although Pegasus Books brings some charm and character, the rear entrance to the laneway is very creepy at nightfall. Courtney Place is Wellington's supposed nightlife strip, but I saw way more gentlemen's clubs than regular bars. I got a coffee from the Innocent Bliss Bar, complete with the ornamental pole. I would not like to be cleaning this on a Sunday morning. You can ride home at night on an empty double-decker bus. Surely there's no way these things fill up. One thing Willie has over Melbourne is the interesting pedestrian lights. We've got Kate Shepard strutting her stuff, Carmen Roop strolling on Cuba Street, and then a guy doing the haka with a reasonable request to stop walking. Opposite the train station, there is a McDonald's toilet that is either for men or not men. The architecture of Wellington is hopefully earthquake proof, but also art deco, medieval, Pizza Hut Bunnings, and Bathroom Tiled. Does the Cake Tin Stadium really need this massive concrete walkway when no one even goes to events here? The Basin Reserve is supposedly the world's biggest roundabout. Next to it is the aptly named Duckworth Lewis Motel, and next to that is TikTok Haircut. What the f***? Windy Willy may as well make use of all these fart breezes, hence this wind farm. The renewable energy hopefully offsets all the methane coming from these big balls. I have a feeling I won't be ordering the cream pie at Mr. G's kitchen. And why do they need a surf lifesaving club when no one is swimming at this shit beach? And that's why Wellington sucks.